It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to beat the level 260 and 270 Root of Evil boss in this Heidi event. This is the team that you need. All right, this is the team that you need. And uh, the 260 boss, you got to have a little bit of luck. Uh, I have seen it beat with buffs up to uh, 15 to 20. I did not have that much luck. If you watched my live stream earlier today, you know that I struggled with it, but I eventually was able to luckily get it uh, off stream with about 65 in buffs. Guys, don't spend 65 buffs on the level 260 boss. You don't need it. You only need 15 to 20, and you need to get lucky with Chaba surviving the first round of a hit. So this is, this is the way that this is supposed to go. There's a lot of people talking about putting Merlin on Celeste instead, but the thing is, Owner with Zonezar converts 50% of magic damage they deal into a shield. The allies with the aura convert 20% of magic damage they deal into shield. So this is this is providing a shield for Marcus, and it's important. The problem is, is uh, Shaba dies almost every time in this fight, and you don't absolutely need Shaba up, but Heidi giving Shaba a little dodge buff if you can is what is instrumental in letting him uh, continue to, to, to last past the first eight seconds or so. But if he doesn't, then Chorus on Celeste is going to give you that opportunity to continue the fight. Now, this is the level 270 boss. We're going to keep rocking and rolling with it, but you can see it's just, it's not there. Uh, you're probably going to need a little bit more buffs than, uh, than you know, 20 or 30. I have seen people talking about how they had 50 buffs on here. I've seen people talking about how they had, uh, you know, Raven in my chat said he had, uh, let's see, 30 buffs on the 270 boss. It took him 13 tries and four on 270, 13 tries on 260 and uh, four tries on 270. So it's really gonna come down to just, just patience, having enough. One thing that I would recommend you do is to knock out all of the, knock out all the boss, all, all the boss tasks here in order to get enough of the materials to buy buffs, to be able to buy the buffs. Of course, I have all these unused crystals that really don't make any difference in this fight. They matter in the arena side of things, but not in this fight. Matter of fact, it might be fun. It might be fun to do some, some big time well, unfortunately, it's using, that's that's kind of a bummer. It's using the Crow Metal uh, in here as well. Maybe if I finish the 270 in the next little bit, we can get huge buffed uh, magic attack and magic defense and uh, get rank one in arena a couple of times. That'll be that'll be kind of fun. But yeah, in order to defeat the 260 and the 270 bosses and the Root of Evil, this is the team that you have to use. And it's just gonna t come down to spending some time uh, starting and restarting the fight. Um, dozens of people now have come to me saying that this is the team Different guilds have come to me saying that this is the team. There's a lot of different iterations of this using Celeste uh, on, I'm sorry, using Merlin on Celeste, using Albus on Heidi, using Rufus instead. I, I think that this is the one that I've seen the most often, this team right here. So while I don't have it complete yet, I will have it complete probably in the next day or two once I have an opportunity to get some more of these tasks finished. I'm saving some opening, uh, some emeralds and opening outline tasks for the um, uh, for the next event that's going to be in the uh, that's going to double dip with the Heidi event a little bit later on this week. Elemental synergy when that goes live, I'll spend a little bit more resources, get some double dip action there. I basically maxed out time to love uh, while I uh, while I'm doing doing this Heidi event. Um, I don't know that you absolutely need to uh, you know finish off this task to get all of the you know gift of dominions of all the various colors. It's nice, it's definitely nice, but I don't know if it's if it's worth it. Like for example, the red one is worth like 45,000 emeralds. So if you have 45,000 emeralds to spend, you know, you're, you're kind of just getting your money back at that point. But if you can get it done for less than 45,000 emeralds, then uh, you're doing you're doing pretty good. Check out the playlist linked in the description box down below for all of the boss fights, uh, all of the sub boss fights, all of that. This has been a frustrating day, uh, to say the least. If you saw my live stream, you, got, you saw I got a little heated with this, but I love you all. Good luck in Dominion. So we got all of those boss fights completed. All right, so the level 250 Root of Evil, we're doing the 250, 260, and the 270. So the cool thing about this is doing all of those boss fights, we've got a ton of materials, including 58 attempts, and we can buy 10 buffs. We can buy 10 buffs, but we're not gonna buy any buffs. We're gonna try this team again. So the team is, and again, thanks to Digital Dominance for uh, sharing this line and many others, Team Pet Axel, okay. So this works, 
You got to get lucky with some. Uh, yep, got to get lucky with some. With Chava surviving at the very beginning. Okay. Chava's not surviving at the very beginning. Why does my Chava keep dying? Does it matter? Why does my Chava keep dying and does it matter? I don't know that it matters, guys. Wait a second. Is Marcus running the show here? Is Marcus running the show? Do we even need Chaba? Do do we just need some kind of thick some kind of thick boy in the front to absorb? Nope, nope, nope. Looks like looks like we do. <laughs> Should I use Merlin on Celeste? I think Chorus I think Chorus is play is the play there. Marcus must survive. Yeah, I think that's why you have uh Chorus there so Marcus survives. Now, this being a level 250, I do expect to have to get some buffs. Why is it that my Chaba is dying now, but he wasn't earlier? Let's do one buff. One buff. Oh, I just did 10. I did two buffs. Okay, let's do two buffs. <laughs> Meant to do one buff there. Meant to do one. Ah. Cane on monkey. Oh, I'm, I, uh, I need to swap to cane on monkey. Okay, I didn't mean to buy two buffs, but I think maybe it'll be fine. Astrid and Lucas is dead. Got to grind these last two down. Ch uh, Arachne's got a ton of vampirism, but I'm I'm doing some I'm doing some work. She's almost dead. Oh, she's gone. All right, so that's it. So that was the 250, guys. I feel like maybe I could have done this with one buff. I feel like I could have done this with one buff. Also, this is supposed to be Kane. This was supposed to be Kane, not Albus. I feel like I could have done that with one buff. So this is the team to use to beat to, to beat uh, level 250. You got Oliver on uh, Chaba, Marcus on Axel, Celeste with Chorus to keep Axel alive. I'm sorry, yeah, Marcus alive. Sebastian Fenris and Kane on Heidi. Okay.